Welcome back to another BPC Overwatch practice. Last time we were here, we faced up against one of our first ever scrimmages. Unfortunately, we didn't do all that well, but we were able to still hang in there. How would you say last night went to you? It was a really big learning experience, um, going up against our first full team instead of just a randoms online. Um, so today's discussion's all been about how can we adjust, how can we um, right. work against a team that's working together instead of random people. Right, right. Is there any uh, changes that you guys have decided to make to your competition, or are you still planning on having this, on still having the same uh, comp? Um, same comp, uh, people in the same positions, because those are the best people that understand their roles. Right. Um, so it's just been uh, more the communication and positioning across the map. Okay. Oh. I'm going to do it again. Hey guys, we're starting another live stream, so I hope you come down and enjoy it. Hey guys, we're starting a... Second, let me link our Twitch really quickly. So, is is that the main thing that, that you've seen with this? Is that you just need more scrimmages to practice playing against non-randoms at this point? That's what we're at. Okay. All right. I'm I'm shooting them up. I mean, playing out a supercharger. Nice! I'm the only one to die. You can't find this. There we go. Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Another live stream, so I hope we come down. There we go. Add that to the story. I'll put it in complexity as well. He's low, he's low. Lucio, uh, Lucio, you gotta get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Uh, yeah, the moment you see him, the moment you see him healing, yeah, you should have been to. Alright, I'm, I would want to take it. No, dude, I had him whenever no one was on him. Like, his team's not even for real with him. Like, half the time. Alright, that'll be good for now until we actually are able to finish this match and uh, see what's all going on. So, like you said before, same team. Uh, you're going with the same team cop, just practicing. You just need more time with scrimmages and everything, with everything like that. How often do you think you'll be having scrimmages? Um, it's going to be mostly water. just on the weekends that we're able to do scrims. Um, next week is the first week of, uh, or is the only week of preseason, and then we're into the real matches. Right, right, right. So when they're when they're on this, are they using quick play or are they using a competitive play? Currently, they're using quick play. Um, later today, we're going to switch over to competitive, and then. Okay, that should lead to some interesting things, being that you're officially, it's no longer just random randoms. Yeah, right now we have a couple of uh, accounts that we had to make since these players haven't always been on PC. Mm -hmm. So we've been working on getting those uh, PC right. accounts no, up to level 25 that that before we can play uh, competitive. Right. How difficult has it been to make that switch for some of the players from PC to console? It has been or too not difficult. from my bad from console to PC. It has been too difficult. Some players have still use are still using a uh, controller. Others uh -huh. have just put the practice into learning how to use a keyboard and mouse. Mm -hmm. Which one would you say is more efficient, a mouse and keyboard or a controller? Mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard all the way. That makes sense. I've played Overwatch mostly on uh, PC, and I gotta say, without having the aim assist and slowing down, you can actually really make some quick, precise shots. You can. Yes. I'm actually, I think I'm seeing a little bit different That's strategy from the team this time. They, they are much less clumped together and more and more about trying to get their DPS trying to flake around. But this time they're clumped together with Lucio and a Orisa ultimate combined together. Looks like Ash is taking on the McCree and Orisa is again laying down, covering fire. Lucio providing healing as much as he can, but he's eventually taken out by the Bastion's ultimate. Now Bastion has a really powerful ultimate where he's able to turn into a tank. Is there any way that you can actually counter that ultimate? Just trying to kill him off before he can launch it, or as soon as he launches it, so he doesn't get the chance to really deal damage with right. it. Right. I think that's the thing with ultimates. They are incredibly, incredibly powerful and difficult to deal with. If I'm correct, uh, did one of our players uh, show up as a Soldier 76? Uh, let's see. 
It looks like we do have um, It's My World, um, Tinley, who is uh, playing as Soldier 76, one of my favorite heroes in the <laughs> game. So what makes Soldier 76 a good hero? Like, what's, what's his specialty? My favorite part of him is he's very simple. He's just, it's just like playing Call of Duty. Right. Um, he has a bit of an area of effect heal and a bit of a rocket shot um, that he can use. <laughs> um, so he's just very basic, and that's what I like most about him. So you could even use, possibly use him as a support character. You could. He you has could. that um, ability. <laughs> All right, Mercy coming in, rezzing the Soldier 76. Oh, no, healing the Lucio. It looks like they're just going to let the Soldier 76 spawn on his own and catch up. But that should be fairly easy since Soldier 76 actually needs to uh, sprint. But it looks like this round is in defeat. What do you think they could have done to have won it? Um, without having to watch the beginning of the game, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I got, a, I got an idea whenever we get back like that again. Yo, I'm just gonna go Reaper and someone goes Zarya and just bubble me as soon as I want him. By the time he does anything, I can just uh, see when I get back out. Let's see, is there a way that I can add to the game? Let's head to our Twitch, see how many viewers and everything we have right now. And it, oh, ooh, sweet night ro right now, three. Well, we have uh, Noki saying, yo, what been up? Uh, nothing much. How about you? Let's head to our Twitch, see how many viewers and everything we have right now. Everyone, we're about. All right, let's make sure to... Put my the BPC link in the description of not description uh, the bio of my channel real quick. They're still on. Yeah. yeah. They're not playing yet. I have to go over to the stream. Stream privacy account. Bio, bio, bio. Spectate that. Yeah, I'm about to die. Got her. Alright, looks like we're doing an escort the payload mission. Alright. Looks like our team is on the defensive side right now, so that's good. I think they have a good chance yeah. of fighting this. Orissa is a really good defensive nice. tank, isn't she? With that she shield, is. able to plop yeah, that down. There have been so many times where I've been Orissa on the payload, moving it back with that shield. It looks like Dakar is playing as Hammond. Now Hammond is a tank, but would you would you say that he can be used in an effective DPS as well due to his he movement? He has the uh, quick movement. He can, um, as you saw last night, uh, Hammond is one of the most effective at just breaking the team apart, causing some chaos, getting them separated, and not right. know who to target. Right. Hammond turns it back into his walking turret and ball and turret and ball and turret. Widowmaker swinging around, making sure that she's able to find the perfect sniping position. It looks like it's been triggered, but she's not gonna use that to go after. She's gonna run away and unfortunately be taken out by a Mercy with a melee. So looking at our team comp right now, we have the Hammond, we have an Asir, Orissa, we have a Pharah, which is an awesome um, player. You can see right now Dasher's playing as uh -huh. As her, she has a jetpack so she can get high in the sky. And she has this rocket launcher that can just do massive damage, and it's hard to target her because she's flying around so much. Right, right, right. But she does have her own encounter. Encounter. Uh, I noticed that 
our team has actually switched from a Widowmaker to a McCree. So what kind of hero is McCree? He seems to be a cowboy, seems to have a revolver. What makes McCree special compared to everybody else? I would say his uh, most Get important thing is his ultimate. His ultimate can target multiple people at once and just mm -hmm. do a lot of damage to them. I remember playing McCree as his ultimate. His ultimate reminded me a lot like a pistol from Titanfall 2 called the Smart Gun. It literally tracks down the enemies and as soon as you click, it's instantly headshotting them and instantly killing them. But that ultimate does take time, so he has to hide in cover and make sure that he's ready to do it. He can't just stand out in the open or else he's going to get got. Mercy is taken out by a Junkrat's Riptire. Hammond is still coming in. It looks like Doomfist coming in with a Meteor Strike, but he's... Uh, Dasher able to take him out with a Tracer nonetheless. We're seeing a lot of hero switch up at this point as well. We are. They're trying to find okay. the right uh, selection for this matchup. I think they might be close to it now. Right. Lucio coming in. It looks like he's sticking on that paint on that point. He's actually dealing some serious damage, but oh, countering the ultimate with Lucio's own ultimate. What a brilliant move by Zach for Breeze. Dasher coming in with the Tracer, but unfortunately taken out. It's insane what's going on here. Ultimate after ultimate. It's just counter after counter. Orissa is on fire. Lucio on fire. Hammond on fire. They are on that point, making sure it's going nowhere. I'm speechless. That was just great play, <laughs> working all the ultimates together, making sure that it did not get to move, and now they're even pushing the point Look back. at that. That's, that's my favorite thing about being on defense, is the point where you get to able to push the oh, point yeah, literally so back. Yeah, the, so the enemy team is left in their tracks. That was Sigma's ultimate, a very extremely powerful ultimate. What makes Sigma so special as a hero? He takes you up into the sky where you can't move around. All the rest of your team is able to target you, and you're immobile for that amount of time. Massive amount of damage able to be given right. out at that point. Right. So what else makes him special as a tank? Not just with his ultimate, but with his shield, with what he's able to literally pick up rocks and throw them. Like, what all makes that special with, uh, with, Sat with Sigma? Um, all of that combined, it just makes him hard to target, hard to hit, hard to know what to do against him. Right, right, right. It looks like the enemy has unleashed a series of ultimates, but it's not going to do too much to the team, however. That comes on fire. Orissa providing fire. Torbjorn as our dasher coming in. Lucio's providing a quick burst of speed for everybody, making sure they can probably get her around, making sure everybody's okay. And then Orissa getting healed. Oh, but she's taken out by the Ana with a sleep, and she lets down a shield. And it looks like the point is contested. They are on it. That's what they want to get, but they have to hold this spot for about five minutes. But it looks like the payload is moving. Hammond comes in from behind, trying to take out the enemy. Zion has switched over to Zenyatta, but he's taken out. So, if you notice what Zenyatta's health are, it's... What you see with a lot of heroes out far is some of them are white and then they might be a little orange and then they might be a little blue. What's the difference between that? Because if I'm right, that's the difference between health, armor, and shields. Yes, the um, white health is just their health. And then once it goes into the orange, um, that's when they have a shielding, just a little bit extra health than normal. Right, right, right. So with the blue shield, is that blue shield able to recharge? Yes, it is. It is? All right. Looks like the payload is getting to that final point. What does what Ash ult just launch? That's incredible. Ash has the, has the ult of literally summoning her best friend Bob, and he comes in, rolls around, and fires at any enemy that's targeting them. Lucio pumping up the heels, but it looks like Zarya and Sigma. Oh! Impressive play by the enemy team. Torbjorn unleashes his ult, making an, a no-go zone for the enemy team, able to hold that point just for that little bit longer. But the Barons are unfortunately unable to defend their objective. We do see an impressive ga uh, gameplay by the enemy team Sigma. So, how
how do you get good at, at Sigma? It's just the practice, understanding how um, all of his different abilities can be used together. Um, right. Uh, knowing what they all do is good, but being able to put them together in the right combo, uh, just right. like you would with Street Fighter, the combos, knowing when to attack, which attack to do first, and <laughs> when to launch it, that's the most important thing about learning how to master one of right. these heroes. We talked about this last night, but one of the most important things in Overwatch is that timing, not just with you, but also with your other teammates and other players. How much time do they actually just put into not only practicing like this, but just on their own, going into arenas and seeing how good they can get with certain skills? Um, we have, most of our team does that all day long, all night long. They're mm -hmm. watching their videos after the practice to see what did they do right, what did they do right, what did they do wrong, what can they change. So it's always just mm -hmm. constant practice and evaluation. Right, right. Barons seem to be going right now and uh, picking out, deciding what new maps, what new team modes are going to. And it looks like they're starting a new team. So you, I've seen this map a couple times in the in the uh, pro scene where a single junk rat was able to hold off against the enemy team. Of course, that was something insane. But what makes this map difficult or easy compared to other maps? Let's see. Um, it's all about um, where you position yourself, um, right? Especially on this map, it's all about the positioning. Um, this one, the points are very hard to get onto because it's right here in the middle of the map. You have to uh -huh. defend both sides of the point, and so. Knowing where the enemy team will be coming from is the most crucial thing to be knowing where to defend. Right. So right here we have we're back with the. Um, oh, we're back with the, with the car. Yeah, Winston. Winston, Roadhog, Doomfist, Widowmaker, Lucio, and Mercy. This is a good team comp. Ready for it? They're mm -hmm. able to save themselves from being knocked off the map right there. Look at that! Fire. That's just incredible. Winston able to put down a bubble. Doomfist able to charge up a strike. Punching the enemy Zarya, but unfortunately he's stunned. He gets out of the stun, flies around, using his arm shotgun, beats down the Zarya. It's insane. Oh, Lucio is coming nice. in, uh, wall running around the objective, capturing it. With, this, with that play that Lucio did, how difficult is that to do, just to wall run and to go around the objective? Also, how smart was that of him to do? It's an easy play if the rest of your team is doing what they were doing. The right. rest of the team pushed the enemy team back away from the point. They weren't able to be on there. So the US Lucio was able to be on the point, take it easy, just have some fun and run around on the wall. Right, right. Looks like Lucio is still on the point, able to uh, provide health, speed, and healing for their team. Lucio still coming in. Roadhog jumping around, getting stunned once or twice. It looks like the enemy team... Oh, no, never mind. Lucio... Coming up, give, providing critical speed. Winston jumping around, going to rage, slapping around the enemy team, but he's stunned, but he's still going for it, still slapping them around like they're children. It's insane. Mercy with the res, bringing back the Winston. Now that Tesla gun is very aggravating because... It literally, it in a way, targets people and in a sense almost works like a flamethrower in which he's able to essentially click it and any enemy surrounding him is taking damage. Yes. So how, how threatening is that to other players? Oh, it's really threatening because he has a, a lot of health on his own and then adding a weapon that can target multiple people at once just makes him a hard target to kill. Right. Widowmaker with an incredible snipe on the enemy team Lucio! Dude, Taking down there. Doomfist, Mercy flying in, Roadhog getting ready to charge like a boar. Roadhog having an ultimate ready, about to hook the Zarya, ends up targeting her with his shotgun, pulls out the ultimate, targets almost two, for all the enemy team, dealing incredible amounts of damage as 
Winston seems as he tries to finish them off. Sorry ends up taking out our Doomfist and our Roadhog and Mercy take out the enemy team's Mercy. Our Doomfist is revived. He goes in for the punch against Zarya and he's targeting her, making sure that she can't do anything about it. It's insane what they're doing right now. Roadhog is still back on the point. Looks like the enemy team has brought the point to 24% though. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Overtime! Let's see if they're able to actually fully capture the point. No, this is this is insane. I've seen a lot of times in quick play where it's 99 v 99 a lot of times with these. We see, we see Roadhog uh, missing with his hook, but he's able to target the Sigma. See what's going on. He heals himself. Widowmaker, another snipe. One, but again misses. Roadhog getting ready to do something incredible. Looks like Sigma's preparing an ultimate. There's a variety of ultimates about to go on now. Their Doomfist is being targeted by a Roadhog. A High Noon by McCree, but that High Noon is going to miss as It's My World snipes him down. All they have to do is get rid of this Lucio and they can win the game. Pretty much. And Looks like they have recaptured the point. But the Keep enemy team brings in a Hammond. The and Hammond is taken out. out! Looks like they still have one contesting. Mercy's in. Mercy's in. How are they gonna... She revives the Doomfist. Hooked and shot! Looks like a Meteor Strike. Will they be able to get out of the way? Oh, but they're able to tank the damage. And back into overtime. Lucio taking out. Looks like they still only have one other person. Zarya comes in, but they're able to push them out with Roadhog's ultimate. Overtime is still in. How are they going to handle that Hammond? They all target him. Hammond's rolling around. He's in and out the objective. As overtime closes, it begins to open again with Hammond rolling around, and overtime is officially gone. And the, the objective the first is point. The objective is secure. So, with this point capture mode and other point capture modes, what makes this more difficult or easier, or what separates this from the other modes? Not necessarily that two teams are trying to attack a single point and capture it, but in the sense of why do you have to play this so differently than the other game modes? The biggest difference is that it doesn't move. It's at the same spot. Now, in this second round, they're in a different part of the map, and there will be a different point. However, the point is in the same spot throughout the entirety of the objective. Right. And so during a escort mission, you're escorting the payload across the map. So you're constantly fighting in a different place with different um, rooms and walls to hide behind. But right. now they're all in the same spot where there you have to move the fight, but the point doesn't move. Right. Our Roadhog is doing incredible damage right now, and it looks like we've... Uh, one of our teammates has actually gone to a Genji. Genji is an incredible hero where he's able to climb walls, double jump, flip around all over the place, use his shuriken, but is ultimately all in charge of powering up his special move, being able to use a melee sword attack. Widowmaker flies around with her grappling hook, getting ready to snipe someone. She ends up shooting the Mercy, takes out their... <laughs> takes out their Reaper! Looks like she's targeting it again. Will she make it? Will she hit the Reaper? Or maybe she has other problems she needs to worry about. Roadhog, back at it again. Preparing for another charge. He ends up pulling out his ultimate while all the enemies are clustered together, but the Zenyatta uses his ultimate to see if he can't prevent that, but Roadhog is still able to do an incredible amount of damage. Winston is taken out, unfortunately. Lucio charging forth. Dasher with his ultimate ready. The question is how and when will he use So what do you think is the proper way for Genjin to use his ultimate? Um, this enemy team looks like they keep um, keeping themselves in a clump together. That's when he needs to use it. So have them all together, get all of them at once. Right. What other ultimates does it work best with? It's going to work best with, let's see who they have. They have... Got and Lucio might be the best one to have his ult at the same time. Right, that way Genji has that a huge burst of health and a huge burst of damage, essentially making him nearly invincible for a very, 
very short period of time. And speaking of, it looks like they both have their ultimates charged. So the question is, is that what they'll need to do? Or will they have a more creative strategy? As Winston goes around slapping the enemy team once again. Let's switch that, Winston. He's hooked, but it doesn't matter. Oh. But unfortunately, the hook doesn't kill him in the way we expected. It drags him across the map. Watch this. Right, watch the Yeah, we gotta get back. Rogog back out again. See if they can't watch retake the, the point. But it looks like it's contested for the moment. They have to get the enemy team off that point. Lucio brings out his ultimate, giving everybody a quick boost to help. Genji is blocking damage, making sure no one can do anything about it. Lucio still providing critical no. heals. Roadhog using his trash gun to smoke the enemy team. It's insane what they're doing right now. They're still in overtime. Looks like the enemy team is about to capture the point. And it seems as though they have. That's okay. This happened in the last round. Got to 99%. The enemy team yeah. took it. They just have to regroup. As you can see, they're waiting on the rest of their team. They're not rushing forward by themselves. That would have been the biggest mistake they could have made, but they didn't. They right. kept together. Now they just have to get through, clear the room, and they take the point. Right. Let's see how it goes down. Oh, they're planning something. Widowmaker are using her ultimate. See if she can't snipe the Doomfist. And the fight has officially started. Roadhog dealing an incredible amount of damage. Lucio coming in, booping people, seeing where he seems to boot. Uh, Mercy still on the healing. Seeing how things can go. Guitar is taking a lot of damage. Looks like there's Zenyatta has used an Orbit Discord. She revives the Widowmaker to see how that will turn out. As she is revived, she's going to end up trying to snipe a couple more of their enemy teammates. Seeing how this is going to go. Bounces herself across the map to see where she needs to go. Gets this incredible position, makes an amazing snipe on the enemy team's Doomfist! Makes another amazing snipe on their Sigma! It's absolutely insane! It looks like the Barons claim victory. Go ahead and talk over it. I'm gonna talk oh, yeah. It's another oh, no, incredible it's, match it's, by the Barons. Like, like, it's amazing what they are truly able to do. How many people are watching right now? We have our two viewers. Two viewers. Uh, one of them is me. So our one viewer, uh, WFT Minty, how are you doing today? Thank you for loving the energy. Also, Zion will never use that. He would never revive you for that. That was really good. I like how y'all kept together. It was okay. They don't block the point. We can see them right now crushing up a little bit quickly. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, they are currently not. We just need one more level up from uh, our player sausage to actually be able to compete in normal competitive play. It's going to be a little bit longer, but once that'll happen, it's going to be incredibly interesting. I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. And then we're just running into games and it, I mean, it's just working for our game. Looks like at the moment they are currently like deciding what they, what they need to do for the next game. Because that's the thing, what they're, they're, they're wanting to do is see how good how good they're doing, what do they need to change. They might not even bring the same uh, healers next time. Try and switch that up to see how it will go down. I don't know, it's just really like, we, well, we have to have an understanding of the characters and what people work well as. And then we have to start going on the maps that we're going to be practicing on and just try to figure out how we're going to move our team. Looks like their together. other game is starting. Are we going to move back when there's two people on point? Like, stuff like that. Quickly spectate. Keep that discussion going on. Keep communication going. They're out the game. And let's see how this one goes. All right. You ready, Peter? I'm ready. And I uh, think what did you ready. say about that last about that last game? It was really good. They did um, the right thing each time. It was okay that they lost the point because as they were reviving, they discussed the plan. They made up a strategy. That way, they knew what to, what to do, where to go, and how to do that next fight, and it worked each time for them. Right. Right. Looks like they're going with the same uh, with a similar team comp. What do you think Dasher's going to try and do this time? He's going to go Bastion. It looks like. Ooh. That's a 
new choice. He hasn't done that too many times. I have seen him pick it a couple times this past week. I'm really excited to see what he can do with this. Right. So as we said before, one of the things Bastion can do is he turns into that turret, and it's insane what the amount of damage he's able to do, but he's easily countered by one of Genji's moves, which allows him to literally reflect damage back at the enemy. And it looks like the enemy team has not gone for Genji, though, but they'll, see, they'll probably change once they encounter the Bastion. So as we can see, Winston is doing something interesting here. He's coming in, just splitting the team up, just showing up out of nowhere. They weren't ready for it. Right. It looks like he was even hiding behind, making sure that they, that he w wouldn't have even been seen. But they bring up a Reinhardt. Able, Reinhardt's able to charge. And Winston is still doing an incredible amount of damage to the Reinhardt. It looks like Winston is targeting the Squishy a little bit as Mercy is falling to sleep as she tries to heal the other uh, members of her ally team. The question is, will she make it? And she has made it. And it looks like the enemy team does have a Genji to try and counter. <clears throat> to try and counter their Bastion, or maybe Genji is just out there for fun. The thing that I've seen a lot of times with quick play, quick play is that people will choose heroes just because they're fun, not just because they're necessarily good at those heroes. So, what heroes do you see often chosen, but not necessarily played very well? Um, I think Soldier 76 was probably one of them in the last time. Um, all the people that they're playing right now, I think that they've gotten the practice in on them. They're ready to play them. They know what to do. Right. It's right. not just about fun. Looks at this like point. Zion is damage, as uh, a uh, damage increasing Bastion right now, allowing him to double his output per bullet. It's insane the amount of teamwork that goes on into this. As Bastion is protected, they're essentially guarding that Bastion. As Bastion is keeping any enemy from uh, going into this gate, it's a very important they perform the gate. And it looks like Genji has snuck. In the question is, what what are they going to do about the Genji? Have they even seen him, or even the, they're going to worry about him at this point? This looks like it's my world is thinking about how they're going to conquer that Genji. Orisa using one of her abilities to pull enemy teams back, laying down the shield again, seeing how well that's going to go down. Once again, Bastion coming along and providing covering fire. Oh, he just quickly targets the Genji, but it looks like they've all been taken out by Reinhardt's stun ability. It looks like our team, the Barons, have been pushed back, and it looks like we also... Widowmaker takes out the Genji's health by about half. Unfortunately, it's not a full-on headshot, so she's not able to completely take it down. The point is slowly being captured. The question is, how are the Barons going to react to this? Should they let the point be captured and retake their defenses, or...? No, they did the right thing. They didn't rush out. Uh, let them take that point. There's another four and a half minutes to fight. Right. Just protect the next one. Right. Ooh! Looks like everyone has taken that area. Oh, the enemy team has uh, put out a bash and seen what kind of damage they can do with that. So the question is, how do you think the Barons will handle the enemy team's bash? I think they'll be able to handle it. They have the Mercy, they have the Widowmaker to hopefully pick him out um, from a good corner. Right. Oh, looks like the Reinhardt is actually giving them some trouble. Charging away, using his shield to make sure that he's blocking oncoming damage. And Arissa has her ultimate ready. At this point, once they all come together, once they all cluster together, and she uses that, she's able to increase their team's damage by a significant amount, making sure they're able to keep that point. But it looks like it's contested with only two of our two. It's 1v1, and it looks like it's being captured a little bit. 2v1, 3v1, 3v2, 2v3, 3v5, 4v4. It's insane. They're possibly pushing each other on and off the point as people are dying and coming back to life, being resurrected and then unresurrected as mercies are being taken out. Looks like Torpion is going against the Bastion. Oh, and the Lucio on our team is able to use his ultimate, the counter Diva's ultimate, allowing the quick burst of health. Bastion turns back into his turn. How are they going to handle that one? Torbjorn's ultimate is charged. Not sure how that's going to work out with him using that. And their Bastion is taking out. The Barons are back on the point, ready to defend us. The enemy team regroups. Mercy, healing where she needs to heal. At this point, they're trying to make sure what areas they need to cover. Or should they cover the main gate or should they cover some of the windows? So, next question is, we see a lot of openings in this map. Uh, what, what part do they need to worry about the most? 
They need to worry about them getting into the room. If they can keep them poked, uh, keep them in the doorway, keep them in the windows, they can target them easily and one advice, one by one. Right, right, right. No, 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 come back, come back. Looks like the Barons are being able to successfully defend this point. Uh, Torborn using his ultimate as that no-go zone, uh, going against the Bastion. Bastion's able to use his ultimate against uh, the Mercy and able to take out the Lucio. But that's are able to take out the enemy teams over here. Dakar able to take out the enemy teams Genji. Dakar also able to take out their Diva. We're now down to a minute and 50 seconds. They've held this point well. There's they haven't been able to get any of the objectives on this one, on this oh, the, the defense. They know what they're doing. They're now just keeping it a hold. Right. 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 Oh, with, with the snipe, on the, snipe on the soldier, that's insane. So we've seen this Widowmaker being able to quickly take out... Oh, looks like she's targeted a Bastion even, using her ultimate to find out where he is, dealing damage where she needs to deal damage, able to hunt people down. We see Widowmaker uh, being used against so many of these squishy characters with smaller health, being able to headshot them, but is she also useful against tanks and supports? She doesn't deal as much damage to the tanks and supports, but she can weaken them enough so that by the time the rest of the team is on them, they're, they can go down fast. Right, right, right. No. It looks like the point is, cont is contested again. Let's see how our chat is doing right now. Uh, the the Nifty again. The winky gif is a uh, gif that winks. It's a uh, they read as an emoji. Thank you very much for telling me that. It looks like Torbjorn puts up his ultimate as that no goes on once again, but he's taken out by the team's bastion. It looks like they've all gotten to the point. It's my world. Stuzas oh, Echo so thought so that he could take out the bastion, but unfortunately he's not able to. Guitar. Able to come in with a Winston, see what he's able to do, pushing people off. It's contested. If they're even able to capture the point, if they see on its overtime, looks like our Lucio is able to. And the question, it's the feet, unfortunately, for the Barons. What do you think went wrong with that with that round? The team was able to break in, um, got behind the team, got on the point, and then they just kind of split them up. And so it was, at that point, it's hard to know who to target and who to target all together. Right. I hate Bastion, but we got to... And it looks like our last yeah, player is now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there was an arrow. Looks like our stream is still going. Or we're just behind on the stream. I think we are. Something did go wrong. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break and restart this stream. What do you think happened? I don't know. Good thing is, uh, are you going to be here next week? Or what? Next week? Oh, week. I need you on. Oh, All right, and we're back. It looks like we just needed to refresh the page a little bit there. Right, right, right. All right, so um, I heard our members mentioning earlier, our last player is now up to level 25, so we are going to start some competitive games and get itself up in those ranks. Let's see how we do. Oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, right. Just bumped your chair a little bit. Oh, Ooh, can we not spectate competitive play? Can go That's rough. I know, but I'm trying to 
Yeah, let's let's close it for now and uh, see what we can do about it. All right. Well, thank y'all for joining. Yes, thank you very much. Round it up.